Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the complex world of finance and commerce, the role of forensic accounting has emerged as a critical element in uncovering financial mysteries, detecting fraud, and providing expert insights in legal proceedings. This comprehensive first video delves into the fascinating realm of financial accounting, exploring its origins, key principles, methodologies, and the crucial role it plays in maintaining financial integrity. We will trace the roots of forensic accounting. We will understand how forensic accounting stands apart from traditional accounting. We will explore the distinctions between forensic accounting and traditional auditing. We will delve into the specialized skills and techniques involved, employed by forensic accountants. We will unravel the pivotal role forensic accounting played in the conviction of Al Capone for tax evasion. And finally, we will examine the contemporary landscape of fraud citing notable cases. Please like, subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video. For all of your questions, comments and suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. And for webinar and guest speaker invites, please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com. Accounting is a K. We hope that this video helped students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies. So let us start with historical foundations. The history of forensic accounting dates back thousands of years with ancient accountants in Egypt referred to as eyes and ears of Pharaoh. Next, let us talk about forensic accounting and how it is different from traditional accounting. Traditional accounting involves the recording, classification, analysis, and reporting of financial data to create useful information for decision makers, typically presented in financial statements. The work product of traditional accountants is centered around these financial statements. Forensic accounting, in contrast, produces unique work products based on the scope of specific projects. The outcome often include written or oral reports, recommendations, and expert opinions, especially when testifying. The term opinion in forensic accounting holds a distinct legal meaning differing from its use in accounting literature. Next, let us see how it is similar with auditing. While forensic accountants and auditors share some similarities such as using procedures and professional skepticism, their overall objective differ significantly. Auditors aim to express an opinion on the fairness of financial statements, while forensic accountants focus on specific areas, tailoring each project to the client's needs with the objective of reporting findings or recommendations. Next, let us talk about forensic accounting techniques. Forensic accountants utilize specialized skills and procedures distinct from auditors, including surveillance techniques. Next, let us unveil financial crimes. We will talk about Al Capone's tax evasion trial. The first case that illustrates the pivotal role of forensic accounting in uncovering financial evidence 
crucial for prosecuting notorious figures engaged in illegal activities ultimately leading to conviction on tax related charges in a notable application of forensic accounting frank wilson from the irs special intelligence unit investigated al capone chicago's public enemy number 1 in 1930 known for illegal activities like smuggling and boot legging capone has evaded charges until wilson's intervention capone conducted business discreetly owing nothing in his name and avoiding tax filings prior to frank's investigation mr capone has only served prison time for possession of a firearm it was only in after the 1927 us supreme court ruling that clarified that income from illegal sources was taxable the government was able to move forward in prosecuting the head of the capone organization finding evidence was not easy capone has never filed an income tax return or he owned nothing in his name and has conducted business through front men until 1931 when frank wilson examined the cash receipt ledger that contained the organization's net profit for a gambling house and the name of mr capone no records has been discovered by the government to link mr capone to income of any count wilson developed and presented to the jury a calculation of capone's unreported taxable income using what he called net worth method and the net worth method is conducted using the following steps on october 18 1931 al capone was convicted of tax evasion for year 1925 through 1927 and failure to file income tax returns from 1928 to 1929 he was sentenced for 11 years in federal prison he was fined 50000 and charged 7692 court cost in addition to tax loss of 215000 plus interest Kapoor was paroled in 1931 1939 returning to Florida where he died on January 25th 1947 from cardiac arrest This case illustrates the pivotal role of forensic accounting in uncovering financial evidence crucial for prosecuting notorious figures engaged in illegal activities Finally let us talk about fraud and the 21st century The first decade of 21st century that is 2001 to 2010 witnessed numerous frauds that eroded investors confidence impacting the American economy You can see the staggering figures in the FBI report that is federal bureau of investigation there was a surge in cyber crime reported by internet crime complaint center there was a diverse fraud landscape reported by national insurance crime bureau report all these reports made the role of forensic accounting more critical and have more intensively addressed fraud addressed fraud in diverse sectors and enhanced detection methodologies finally let us unveil the biggest corporate misconduct 
द एनरॉन स्कैंडल एनरॉन वंस ए लीडिंग मल्टीनेशनल कॉरपोरेशन इन द एनर्जी सेक्टर फेस्ड ए ड्रामेटिक डाउनफॉल ड्यू टू ए नोटोरियस कॉरपोरेट स्कैंडल की पॉइंट्स ऑफ द एनरॉन सेगा इंक्लूड इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन एट्टी फाइव थ्रू द मर्जर ऑफ होस्टन नेचुरल गैस एंड इंटर नॉर्थ इट पानियड होल सेल नेचुरल गैस एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मार्केट्स इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स बाय द ईयर टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड इट अचीव स्टैगरिंग रिवेन्यूज ऑफ वन हंड्रेड एंड वन बिलियन ऑपरेटिंग ग्लोबली विद ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज ऑन अक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड वन इट अनकवर्ड लार्ज स्केल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉड दर वॉज सबस्टेंशियल ओवर स्टेटमेंट ऑफ रेवेन्यू इनकम एंड एसेट्स स्टॉक प्राइसेस प्लमिटेड फ्रॉम नाइंटी टू लेस देन वन डॉलर विद इन डेज ऑन दिसंबर थर्टी वन डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड वन एनरॉन डिक्लेयर्ड वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट यू एस कॉरपोरेट बैंक क्रप्सीज न्यूमेरियस ऑफिसर्स इंक्लूडिंग सीईओ कैनेथ ले एंड जेफ स्किलिंग फेस्ड फ्रॉड चार्जेस ले पास अवे बिफोर ट्रायल and his killing received a 24 year prison sentence enron's auditor arthur anderson was convicted of obstruction of justice charges were related to the destruction of evidence linked to the scandal enron acknowledged accounting errors prompting financial statement restatements Profit of nineteen ninety nine two thousand one were reduced by approximately five eighty six million. Lawsuits alleged personal gains from undisclosed partnerships and accounting violations. Enron investors experienced significant losses, adversely affecting retirement plans. The scandal prompted the enactment of the Sarbanes-Oxley Corporate Governance Act in 2002. <clears throat> Enron along with the WorldCom scandal played a pivotal role in shaping corporate governance regulations. The Enron scandal serves as a stark reminder for the severe consequences of corporate misconduct. leading to substantial legal and regulatory changes aimed at enhancing transparency and accountability in the corporate world so this completes the first video on forensic accounting i hope you have enjoyed this presentation and if you found value in this video then please like subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video for webinar and guest speaker invites please send me a message at accountingamir@gmail.com remember effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity which cultivates wisdom if you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah i will reply you back thank you so much and happy learning